Hello everyone. This is Mukundan Raghavan and in this video we are going to see how to install Playrate MCP. Before to that we will try to understand why do we need Playrate MCP. In the past we were coding Playrate SKSS manually with the documentation and with our previous examples and previous knowledge. However, later point we got the different AI tools such as ChatGPT, Gemini, GitHub Copilot and so on. With this we leveraged our coding by getting the suggestions from the LLMs and even we included this LLM tools inside our IDE so that we can get direct suggestions in the IDE itself. Later point we found that the suggestions will be given based on our prompt that means the more you clear on your prompts the more clear you will get the suggestions. So that's the reason we could not do any action with these suggestions. So that means we need to have something that will do the actions for us with a given goals for example executing the commands or creating the files or saving the files or running the test cases and so on for this we came to agents agentic framework where agents will have the goals and actions however agents will have to have some kind of custom code to interact with the different tools for example in our case browser then we had to write custom code for that and when you change from browser to browser or tool to tool again you have to write lot of custom code so for that now we came to next level which is mcp model context protocol we will try to understand how it works a simple mcp architecture looks like this we will try to understand this in our context which is playrate mcp now let's say you are the user and you will be giving the input to the llm in our case this entire host application is vs code and our llm would be github copilot which is available for free for every github user then once you have the goals defined to the llm and this llm will be interacting with agents to do the actions in our case our agents will be playwright agent and after you have given your goals to the agents then agents will be interacting with the playwright mcp server which is capable of doing the browser automation now with this knowledge we can clearly understand what are the prerequisites obviously we need to have the vs code and we need to have the github copilot most of the time it will be available otherwise we will configure in our github account then we will give the permission to that then later point we will install the mcp server so that you will have the playwright mcp capabilities so let's try to do the same thing in our vs code practically so we have opened the vs code and i have the GitHub Copilot. Before to that, if you have not installed the VS Code, install it. Even if you have already VS Code installed in the past, try to install the latest version because the latest version will have more options for the AI coding. Then after, you will be going to your GitHub account and make sure you have the GitHub Copilot enabled and it is free. Now we will try to see here. This is the official page of Playrate MCP server which is coming from Microsoft. Now let's go to the VS Code and check the basic things. Now we have the VS Code, we have the GitHub Copilot. In the GitHub Copilot, here you can see there is a drop down. Here you can see agent ask edit. We should be able to see the agent as one of the value in this. Now we are in the Playrate MCP server official site. Now in this, click on VS Code. Open VS Code, click on install. Meanwhile, it is installing. You open the palette and you will see mcp options for example mcp colon list servers here you can see you can add the new configuration and after that you will be having the mcp open user configuration just click on that and here you can see mcp.json file so basically this will be available in your user folder user folder app data roaming code user mcp.json if you go there yes mcp.json this is the same file we are looking so that means that this mcp.json file will have the server details now if you want to start the mcp server click on the start button now playrate mcp server is started and running how do we confirm you go to the github copilot chat window and here you can see the tool symbol and scroll down and here you can see mcp server playwright and it will have the different capabilities that we discussed browser click browser close and so on now let's say we will try to understand a simple command using playwright mcp server open source demo.com site and here you can see this is asking for permission to open this URL and also you can allow this in the current session or current workspace or you can allow always. However, for the safety purpose, we will allow in this session. Now here you can see it has opened that. Click on login. Again, it is for run click. Previously, we asked for navigate to URL. We have given the permission. Now I am giving for this also. Here you can see it has clicked. In coming videos, we will try to understand using Playrate MCP server how to automate entire scenario and how to refactor our entire project. So basically in this video, what we have seen, 
we have seen why do we go for playwright mcp and we have seen the evolution from coding llm suggestions agents and mcp server and we have seen the mcp architecture like host application mcp client mcp server llm and so on and we have seen the mapping for example llm will be our github copilot and host application will be our vs code mcp client will be the agents coming from your vs code and mcp server obviously it's a playwright mcp server with this prerequisite we have seen how to install so basically we went to the official page and click on vs code it opened it open mcp.json file and also we have seen it will be in your user folder under the code user and mcp.json file and we can click on this start button or stop button so that mcp server start running and we have seen where to see the capabilities click on the tools option and you will see all the capabilities and we have seen the simple browser interactions to open and click button and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud